Hey, I'm Jacob Soberoff. This is HuffPost Live. Scientific research released this week reports that things are not looking good for our universe. Physicists studying what they say uh, they believe to be the Higgs boson particle announced that it appears our universe is inherently unstable and that it could be completely wiped out in the future. Oh my goodness. Thankfully for us, they don't think that's going to happen for billions of years. Here to help us better understand what it all means, we've got Michael Tutts, a physics professor at Columbia University. Thanks for joining us. Hi, my pleasure. Uh, so, Professor, first of all, last year, let, let, let's remind everybody about the discovery, first of all, of the Higgs boson last year and what that meant um, in the scientific world and for all of us. So, in uh, July of this last year of 2012, we made uh, a discovery and we announced it at that time that we'd found evidence for a new particle. And that new particle looks like it is has all the characteristics of what we call the Higgs boson. And the Higgs boson is particularly important as a new type of particle. And the reason that we think it's so important is that it, it is the way it's, it's used in the theory to describe how it is that all the elementary particles acquire their mass. Um, and without that, if we didn't have that, we would think that all the elementary particles would be massless. And if they were all massless, well, we wouldn't have atoms, we wouldn't have molecules, and we wouldn't be around here. So it's, it's key in that sense. So but, we but, but, can you explain to me what's the new discovery and why does it indicate that maybe billions of years from now the, the universe will end? Well, um, the idea there goes that the particle that we discovered, which if it is a Higgs boson, we still need to confirm that it really is a Higgs boson. And we'll be doing that over the course of the next uh, year or two, uh, that it really has all the properties that we expect. But if that's the case then this Higgs boson has a mass a little bit over 125 times the mass of a proton. The units that we use as, as particle physicists are called GeV, giga electron volts. And, and this particle that we discovered, what we are calling sort of the Higgs-like particle, has a mass of about, has a weight of about 125 GeV. And a proton has a weight of about 1 GeV. So it's about 125 times, roughly, 125 times the mass of a, of a proton. Um, and uh, so the question is, there are theoretical ideas which indicate that depending on what exactly the mass of the Higgs is, if it's very heavy, uh, then peculiar things might happen at very high energies. If you try and ask what happens at at, at very, very high energies, um, it might be that this interaction of Higgs with itself, this self-interaction that it has, causes new physics to appear, because if not, uh, it would kind of violate probability. You, you, it just would grow without bound. So that's a problem if it's too heavy. We expect something new to happen. We don't know what energy scale that might happen. If it's too light, what might happen is that uh, the ideas are that there is an inherent instability in the vacuum. So the vacuum, which normally you think of as maybe nothing, is actually full of stuff. So, for example, the vacuum is filled with a Higgs field. It's this thing that gives rise to the, to the Higgs boson, and it's, it's this Higgs field that elementary particles interact with. So the vacuum is really a busy place. And so it's not really nothing, it's something. So let me just jump in here and ask you, if we happen to be around, you know, billions of years from now, when, when, when this may or may not happen, um, what is this going to look like and should we be worried? You know, I, there's a quote in the article here on HuffPost that says, a little bubble of what you might think of as an alternative universe will appear and then will expand out and destroy us. And supposedly this is going to happen at the speed of light. Yeah, um, what, what you should sort of imagine is that where we might be living in our universe is uh, picture a hill with a couple of valleys in it. And what nature likes to do is to always go to the lowest energy state. Well, but imagine you're in a valley up in the mountains. Um, locally, it looks like a minimum. It looks like you're at the lowest energy place. But if you were to look around a little bit and go over the neighboring hill, you'd find out that you're down at the ocean, way down at the beach. Maybe that's really the lowest energy state. So 
these, these this notion or these ideas that are being talked about is maybe we're living up here in this valley and things would look very different if we were down in this lower energy state, down on the beach. The question is, how do you get from our valley down to the beach? Well, quantum mechanics tells us that we can actually maybe every so often tunnel through to actually go past the neighboring hill onto the other side without actually having to go over it. We kind of go through it. Um, if that happens, the, the game is, the game, uh, is uh, changed. They're probably and, calling wondering, you know, if the universe is going to end, so... Actually, calling to see whether the universe will end. That's right. Um, uh, so, so just uh, again, final question, and then we got to go. Nothing to be worried about at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, the the chance that you actually can get to the other side if there is something at lower energy uh, by these fluctuations will take billions and, and billions of years, and so it may be well beyond the end. Uh, you know, well beyond the, the lifetime of the universe, so nothing to worry about. Well, us. we're going to have to keep in touch then. Uh, I appreciate it, Professor. Thanks for coming on and giving us a scoop here. Fascinating discovery. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Bye -bye. All right, thanks to all of you. Don't go anywhere. Billions of years or moments from now, we'll have more coming up on HuffPost Live.